Today we're making roasted Brussels sprouts. I've met many a Brussels sprout heater in my life and not one could resist these crispy, crunchy sprouts. They're so sweet you could hand them out like candy on Halloween. I don't wash my sprouts, since moisture prevents browning and water tends to get between their leaves, making them hard to dry. Luckily, Brussels sprouts grow on a big stick, which prevents the grit from getting in. Trim and discard the ends, and cut the sprouts in half. If you encounter a chunky monkey, you might want to quarter it to keep overall size consistent with other sprouts. If some leaves fall off the sprouts, keep them on your cutting board for now. We'll cook them and turn them potato chip crispy, but I want to keep them out of the way for now. If you want to roast your sprouts on the stovetop, place them in a large skillet. If you want to roast them in the oven, place them in a baking sheet. Both methods work equally well, so which one you choose depends on your constraints. Let's start with the oven. You want to arrange them flat side up and sprinkle with salt and pepper. It's much easier to get salt to cling to the cut side than to the smooth outer leaves. Drizzle generously with olive oil. Put away that Pam bottle and stop being oil phobic if you want yummy veggies. Flip them cut side down. Whatever touches the pan, that's what will brown the most. Keep in mind that the outside of the cookie sheet is a lot hotter than the inside. So let's use that to our advantage. Put your big pieces around the perimeter. And pile the leaves that were left on your cutting board into the middle. Rub them all over with oiled hands and put your baking sheet on the bottom rack of 400 degree oven. The closer you are to the bottom of the oven, the more browning you'll get. Let's check up on them after 20 minutes. Okay, so my outside pieces are starting to color, but the inside ones are not there yet. Instead of burning the outside pieces, why don't I just swap them and put those pale pieces in the hot spots? I've also noticed that my loose leaves got nice and crispy. I'll take them out so that they don't burn. Let's give our sprouts another five minutes in the oven while we make a little glaze. As always, it's optional. I'll mix one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar with one tablespoon of maple syrup. You can also use honey. Now that my sprouts are nice and brown, let's flip them and drizzle with about half of this glaze. Let's save the rest for the stovetop version. Back in the oven they go for another five minutes for the glaze to set and the other side to brown and they're done. Let's see how we did. Absolutely delicious. Okay, one more leaf. Okay, maybe just one more and we'll do the stovetop version. <laughs> We'll start the same way with salt, pepper, and olive oil. By the way, any type of skillet works for this preparation, except for maybe seasoned cast iron, if you want to use that balsamic vinegar in the end. The hottest spot on the stovetop is the center. That's where your burner is. So this time, we'll put all those loose leaves on the periphery. Set the pan over high heat, cover, and wait for the sprouts to sizzle. When you hear something like this, pshhh, turn down the heat to medium and cook until they brown, about 10 to 15 minutes. You should be hearing soft sizzling noises, pshhh, not aggressive hissing. It's been about 12 minutes and mine are looking good. <laughs> At least the ones in the center of the pan do. If you run into pale ones on the periphery, Keep them flat side down and move to the center of the pan to finish browning. I'll take some of the loose leaves out so that they don't burn. Now that everything looks good, let's flip the remaining sprouts. And if you want, you can drizzle them with a bit of that balsamic glaze. Give your sprouts a gentle toss to coat them in all the sticky yumminess and get them out. Let's see how we did with those. Mmm, I'm in Brussels sprout heaven. Why would you choose one method over the other? 
The stove top method is faster. You don't need to wait for the oven to preheat. The cooking time is only 20 minutes. In the oven it would take about 10 minutes longer. And it frees up your oven to cook something else. The benefit of the oven method is that you get a larger cooking area. Baking sheets are generally larger than skillets, so you can cook more sprouts at the same time. Okay, I'm off to eat my sprouts, but first I want a dollop of Greek yogurt, some barberries, they're very tart dry berries, and a drizzle of pomegranate molasses. Every YouTube chef needs some signature ingredient, right? So Chef John has his cayenne, and I have my pomegranate molasses. Info on buying all these weird ingredients is on my blog, linked below this video. For more interesting ways to cook your veggies, don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in my orgasmic vegetables class.